So it's a bit later in the day now. My battery died. The song is Daughters by John Mayer. And we're specifically looking at the introduction that was performed by Robbie McIntosh uh, live at Nokia Theater is the one I'm thinking of. Robbie uses a resonator guitar and a glass bottleneck slide. I'm just using a six-string guitar, so I'm trying to kind of make it sound like what he did, although it's not perfect. There's some shortcomings but it'll do uh, and so if you're trying to add just a little bit of color and flavor to your cover of that song this is something kind of neat you can add at the beginning of it that will remind people of that great performance mm -hmm. uh, so i'm using a capo i'm on the second fret but i've i've detuned my guitar fully started in standard tuning detuned by two half steps and then i'm putting the capo back on mm -hmm. And when it's on all six strings, I have now fully returned to standard tuning. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is I'm doing some bends in this song, and the bends are much easier to do with less tension on the strings. Second reason is that I can take advantage of a drop D for just a split second at the beginning of the song. That's just a juicy right there so uh, take advantage of that I'm keeping my palm up as I change the position of the capo that way it's in position to hit the, the neck and I'm headed to a B minor seventh shape uh, I'm not barring the whole thing I'm actually starting with just a single bass note there uh, index finger on the fifth string second fret and I'm hammering on fourth string, uh, fourth fret, using my pinky for a reason that will be obvious later, and there's that beautiful chord. Um, so this is part of why I wanted to use my pinky, but it gets more apparent as I go up to the, the bend. Because my fingers, I have these three fingers that I'm using all three of them for power on that bend. Um, if I use my pinky here, these are kind of just falling right in line where I need to be for that bend. Uh, Robbie slides from here. So two half steps. We're doing it just with the power of our three fingers on a steel string guitar. Hence the detuning helped. Uh, and the second of the bends is only a, uh, a half step. There's the note. And we're going to an A form. Uh, just use your index finger. down the scale and then the first of our harmonics seventh fret and then ninth fret kind of an obscure uh, not super robust harmonic but it's there and there's really no other way if you want to use harmonics and try to copy what Robbie did those are both harmonic notes um, and there is another way to do it Instead of 
but I like this, even though it's kind of weak, this uh, ninth fret, fifth string is a C sharp. As weak as it is. Uh, so let's do that again. self-explanatory and then there's a legato run that I use a bunch of hammer-ons the reason I'm using the hammers is that to me it just feels more legato than if I were to pick every note and it kind of gets that momentum uh, in the run. I think the dynamics work better. All right, so that brings us to the first part of the uh, kind of the first time you go through the verse chords, but you do it one time, and Robbie does his solo, which is this. And we're going to incorporate that into the chords you probably already know. Um. It's a tricky part here. Um, we're doing that lick, and trying to get to this bass note. I'm adding the rest of the chord, uh, second half of that measure, but I can't get there. I can't do that. Uh, I know there are some of you who can, but I can't. Uh, and then we're into the, hey, I know a girl, and we're right there. Uh, so let's do it one more time, slowly, and uh, this should set you up pretty well for stuff to practice. Palm up, mute, shift. Good luck practicing that. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> 